Jenny's listening to my song, hot joint. This that no, no nigga with the bass in the bang, make a do yo. Hit you with the five elements, like five elephants. To let them know I'm relevant, I'm heaven sent, telling them we're from a whole nother galaxy. I'm actually born from the static sea. That should be crazy, I'm trying to be amazing. Next big thing kinda has a. All right, and we are live here on the roundtable on HamiltonRadio.net, channel HR2. I wondered how long you were going to show off that for your niece and nephew. You're going to make like a pedophile and shit. But anyways, welcome to the roundtable, guys. HamiltonRadio.net, channel HR2. I said that, but we got a very great show for you tonight. We've got a couple returning guests. We've got a new one, and... Didn't we have four people in here when I started, or was it just you three? I feel like there was another person. Oh, no, that was the one that was standing by you. Abby? Oh, all right. <laughs> I mean, she's kind of here, but that counts, I guess. But anyways, we've got Mo Melts. We've got Cindy Wadi. We've got the new guy, Chino De Leon. Yo, Chino, I want to talk to you first, man. I met this oh, guy. Man. A couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, maybe it was a week ago, and he introduced himself by, "Yo, I'm stalking your page. Your show looks fun." I was like, "Great, that's a hell of a way to break the ice." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. What's up, everybody? Like you said, my name is Tino De Leon. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, it was on the uh, first of all, he's taking it out. It was on a group, and I was <laughs> it was a post on a group. But I know, I, you know, sometimes I I, I, I want to see where people from. And I noticed he was literally my next door neighbor in you. And I'm from Trenton, New Jersey. So literally, that's like a five minute ride. Yeah. That. <laughs> I was I was about to say, if I was like half of me, I could run there. Yeah, true. Oh, I used to back in the day. I used to go a lot. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm a fat motherfucker. Bro, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Your name sounds like something I'd order from Taco Bell, like a dessert. <laughs> Chino De Leon. Yeah. Like like get let me get like two burrito supremes, a coke, and some of that Chino de Leon. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> oh shit. Uh Bo Cindy, what's up? Hey. Hey. I'm tired. Yeah. What's going on? Huh? I'm so tired. What's going on? Oh, you're tired, Mo? I'm sorry. Yo, I am too. I almost didn't get up for the show. I'm not going to lie. Well, as we discussed in the chat, my mom is being very strict about me going to bed at 9.45. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A 50-year-old woman doesn't want to get grounded. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I just Whoa. said a random number, okay? <laughs> Why couldn't you always go down? Always just- go down. I just know she has two kids. I just said the first number I thought of. I just woke up. I'm sorry. Wow. Can't believe you, John. <laughs> I know, right? Like, I'm going to be from first. The, he's not a doctor and he's not a gangster. And now you are just insulting me by telling me I look fit. <laughs> I get that I look tired and all, man. But really? Really? I just, I, in her I, just said a, I just said a random number. I really don't even think you look 50. Like, we could divide that into yeah. That's about how old you look. I'm happy with 40, so we're good with that. <laughs> All right, well, I got make I got making up to do after that because you just made me look like an asshole. <laughs> no, 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 no. You ain't with any help from you. <laughs> I didn't need any help from you at first. <laughs> huh? Look, any encouragement that you need right. in that area, I'm right there. Yeah, see, because. Because Abby just barged in here. What had happened was, you know, Mo's worried about her mom getting angry because it's up past her bedtime and stuff. So I just randomly blurted out the number 50 and that she's worried about getting her. <laughs> oh, my God. Right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, I just woke up like five minutes ago. I'm sorry. Mo is like my age, okay? Oh my god, I love you! <laughs> Why, how old is she? Uh, Abby's 24. Oh, yeah, that's more of that. <laughs> I really said you could cut that in half after, and you just had to go fuck it up by one more year. <laughs> you know what? I, 
I'm over here trying to fix this shit, and you just want to barge in here and just fuck it all up. I will be very honest. I would not want to go back to my 20s. Really not the age I would go back to. There's a decent chunk of my 30s. I wouldn't mind going back and redoing it. 20s is like the age where nobody takes you seriously, but you're not getting any help anymore. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I agree with that. You have to adult. You have to make this work, but your position in this office now is to make copies and put staples in things. You know, like it's not... You're not a decision. At 30, they start to take you a little bit more seriously. And then 40, you just get I'm in my 20s now, and I don't want to go back to it. Yeah. So. Let me fast forward a little bit. Yo, Chino. Yes, yeah, sir. I got a question for you, because we were talking about this beforehand. How long have you been growing out your hair, bro? What? Uh, well, this is a long story. So I'm going to make it short. I've always been growing my hair since high school. Uh, okay. Right after I graduated, I think a year later, I cut it all off, and I oh. kept it. I literally kept it off until I found out I was going to have my daughter. So my daughter's five years old. When I found mm-hmm. out I was going to be a dad, I was going to. I'm gonna grow it out just until she's here. Yeah, I didn't cut it literally till last year in, in June, and I only like just trimmed the sides and cut like oh. I literally cut like 13 inches off my hair. Oh, so uh, yeah, my hair is still like I think it's short, but I could put it in all. I mean, in a ponytail, but yeah, so you still, got, you still got that Pocahontas head. You got hair down your I ass. do, man. That's that Mayan hair, man. I'm half Guatemalan. My dad's, you know I mean, if I'm half Guatemalan, my mom's Puerto Rican. So I got that oh, Taino and, and that Mayan hair right there. Yeah, she got <laughs> thick ass hair. Oh, damn right, man. I, I could sell my <laughs> hair if I really wanted to. <laughs> Wait, do I win? Do I get to win with my with Irish hair? <laughs> I think that's fucking poofy. I think <clears throat> I'm pooping as hell, man. Hang on. <laughs> right. Bro, Fred Drescher, <laughs> Fred Drescher from the nanny would be jealous of you right now. I'm just, not really that. Yeah. Is that short? Yeah. Oh, it's close. Yo, yeah, it's before you cut it, why do I feel like you look like Cousin It from the Adams Family? Shut up. <laughs> I could be. You see, when I when I grow my hair out, like it grows over here, but a lot of it grows like over my eyes and shit. He looks yeah, like yeah, a- looks like that I- Justin Bieber, huh? Yeah, I get, I get fucking long ass bags that are poking me in the eyes and shit. Like my whole face ends up being covered with the fucking mask and shit. <laughs> oh, I hate that mask. <laughs> yeah, because you get because it's it's fucking with your mouth and nose, and then you got the hair and the eyes. Like I can't catch a break anywhere. Well, true. This is my impression oh. of you, John. <laughs> What's that new dance the kids call the Dougie? What's that new dance the kids call the Dougie? I was trying to do that. Harry? <laughs> Guys, he said it right. It's the Dougie. Teach me how to Dougie. Teach me. <laughs> I was going to say, for me, we can call it the Harry. That's fair. <laughs> Oh uh, shit, Cindy. Yes. How are you? Are you tired, or is everything okay? Yeah, I'm always tired. Okay, nice just, I, you know. I just want to. <laughs> I just want to make sure during COVID you don't get like PTSD. I'm here for you, man. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, how old does Cindy look? How old does she look? <laughs> Okay, first of all, I don't think you look 50. I just randomly blurted that out, so I'm sorry. I don't care. You're going to answer the question honestly now. How old do you think Cindy looks? Because you have, all right, you have two kids, right? I have three kids. Oh, three kids? Okay. Based off of that, I'm going to say 35. Oh, that's so sweet. Wait. Oh, all right. You know, hold, <laughs> on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Is Cindy 42? I'm 40. 40. I'm, exactly. I was 40 before her. I'm older than her. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm 30. I honestly, I honestly you? Just, wait. Hey, you, 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 you know, you look like a mature 28 year old. No, I'm 32. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, John, yeah. That's how you schmooze. She's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> 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 Well, guess what? Today, John is learning something. <laughs> and they say you learn something new every day. 
<laughs> is it if you yeah. don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all? <laughs> I, w- I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have made that mistake if I hadn't been up for like 10 minutes. I wouldn't have just said a random number like that. <laughs> this is what you have to ask yourself, John, before you say things. Does this have to be said? Does this have to be said right now? And does this have to be said right now by me? That'll keep you out of so much trouble if you go through that thought process before you open your mouth. The, sy- the synapses weren't firing all the way yet. I'm sorry. Did you have oh. your coffee? Oh, yeah, the coffee's gay. I could have had Coke in the fridge. So that's. <laughs> what kind of Coke? Like Coke or like Coke? <laughs> Eh, well, right now I could use the second one, but <laughs> but no, nah, just right up. <laughs> it's just cherry vanilla. I don't go full Biden on my Coca Cola. Just <laughs> what if we put some Mentos in that shit? Yo, so I don't know if we showed you my cat before, but we found out his head tilt might not be permanent. Actually, oh. Yeah, but the thing was, we found out, like, the ear infection that we thought, you know, eventually got treated but gave him it, you know, it never got treated at all. And what had happened was, like, I wasn't doing my Coca-Cola. Abby just picked up the cat when full Joe Biden just sniffed his ears, and apparently they smelled like shit. So... It ended up being a good thing that she just sexually harassed the cat, so. Because she ended up taking on that ass. Yeah, man. She ended up (laughs) taking the vet, had ear ear mites, you know. Bro, this cat was so fucked up from that, he already has his own ointment drawer. He's in his twos. Oh, yeah. I've been there. (laughs) Huh? Hashtag meow, too. Wait, what did I do? Oh, meow, too, you're right. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, when but, you try to get me to do stand up, it's not nearly as good as my organic banter. Honestly, I'm kind of the same way because, like, I plan it, I plan everything that I do out and I make sure my jokes are prepared. And, you know, I feel like, you know, when I can just shoot this shit with everybody i can make jokes naturally you know with like people i know and stuff so i'm i'm in the same boat as you i get it mm. oh, fuck mo you look like you're taking a while to fix that poof over there <laughs> <laughs> yo hold up tell me tell me how fucking mo just went from fran dresher to rosie the riveter in like two seconds <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no, how do you go how do you go from this one before you were just like, oh miss the Sheffield? <laughs> <laughs> it's not until I open up my mouth that people can really pick up that old nanny vibe from me. But when I talk, it's you know, is it yeah, I, yeah. I I do sound very like flushing. <laughs> I mean you did have I you did have the poof, so this is after a lot. I have been up since five thirty this morning, young man. Okay. I feel- <laughs> See, you called him young man. Now I know I thought you were fifty. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you, you stroked my ego too much, Mo. I think that was what you did. Oh. <laughs> that was hell, Abby. <laughs> I just dusted the shoulders off too much. Oh, I thought that that was like a uh, head and shoulders kind of deal. I actually use that this morning. I mean, I normally use it, but... I I didn't wash my hair this morning. Maybe that's why it looks like this. Today was not wash day. Today was mine, actually. I want to ask you. Do you do wash day? Say hi, one more time. You do wash day? You have big yeah, poofy hair. Okay, so what is your regular wash day? All right. <clears throat> when I, when I, at, at the time when I was employed, I would do Tuesday... Friday and Sunday. Okay. You know, I mean, the only reason is because it worked. I you would usually just, uh, you know, the uh, I don't know if you know about it. There's actually a, a, a oil or or some type of uh, cleanser for your hair that you just pour it and just you know dry your hair up 
And it's like, that's what kills dirt or whatever. So I was, I was using that. I don't remember the name. If not, I would have definitely plugged it in. But uh, yeah, uh, three out of the um, days out of the week, I, brush my hair. I mean, brush my hair. Sorry. I brush my hair every day. Yo, my your boy Neil just came in, bro. Hi, Neil. Oh, yeah. What up, man? What up? What up? How you feeling, bro? You good? Oh, yeah. I'm taking it easy, man. Just doing a couple of bows. I feel that. Is that all right, or should I? Wait, what are you doing? Some bows. Oh, we're all right. That's fine. You do what you got to do. Let's do one more. Honestly, man, they're just talking about what it is to, like, wa wash long hair and shit. So, I'm out this conversation. They're sitting here looking at me like, you even wash, bro? <laughs> they got me <laughs> fucked up on my own show. You see this shit? Yeah. Yo. It didn't wash day today. So, she, it is. Oh, I, I see. And I put way too much gel mousse. Otherwise, my hair looks like Maureen's hair. I mean... Your hair looks great, but I mean, like the poofy one. What are you, Chino? You're my only friend here. Actually, Marcel, I think you and I will be cool too. <laughs> His hair isn't poofy either. Oh yeah, I'm um, I'm chilling. Where you from? Where am I from? I'm from Jersey, man. What about what about you? I'm from DC. Oh shit, yo, what's with all these DC comics just popping up everywhere on Zoom and shit? Because they can't get a job at Marvel? Man, yeah, pretty <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, Zoom like the hottest thing. Uh, no, you know what you you know what you honestly start needing to do for like stand up? You know, just like remember the shit you say in these conversations. And like, yeah, write it down. <laughs> You'll have a second. Like, I said some funny shit earlier. Yeah, I couldn't even remember. It's it's crazy. It's so hard to remember to write this shit down. And like I'm literally like surrounded by like like you can't really see it, but like notebooks and papers and all that shit. Like I still forget to write. Uh, nah, I get it. Nah, you should you should say the joke though, because I can't fucking read that notebook from here. <laughs> oh jeez, what um me All right, so one, um, you ever been on um, Facebook and you read those um, articles and on top of the article it say like three minute read, five minute read, seven minute read? Yeah, I've seen that. It's crazy. It's like, how short are our attention spans, you know, that they're asking? They're trying to bribe us like with less reading and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Pass it. It's like Congress passed a bill to end all bills and shit. Like it sounds lengthy. Like, come on, it's only three minutes. Mm -hmm. Then you go then you go down and start scrolling down, and then you keep scrolling down and scrolling down to fucking read this shit. Exactly. Before you know it ends up being a fucking novel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they always lie about it. Then there's some ads, some more shit. It's crazy, man. What and then sometimes you gotta buy a subscription to read the article. Oh fuck that. Oh yeah, I hate that the paywall. <laughs> and they yeah. always put it like right after this. They like, yeah, in the next paragraph we'll tell you how to get to a million dollars. But first <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. they say the treasure is hidden in. <laughs> Yo, you know what fucks me up about Facebook right now? That fucking care emoji. That shit drive. Yeah. You don't you don't like something, you don't love something, you just care about the person. You give a fuck, right? That's <laughs> like going to a fucking stand up comedian, them asking you if you did well and you just being like, Wow, you have balls, bro. <laughs> but it's like you need but I feel like the care emoji is good though, because it's like it's in between like the heart and, and like the crack. Cause sometimes you may not it may not be super sad, but you may not love the guy, you know, it's like it's like, I, I care, you know, I, I care. I'm not even really sympathetic. I just, I just care about the, the issue. Yeah. You know what? It's better than just the light. You know, I've yeah. been there. I understand your pain. Like, you know, my dog threw up on the carpet too. Like, that would be like a care emoji, you know? 
Like, right. I feel your pain, but go fuck yourself. That's basically what you're trying to say the care emoji is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But it's, I it's crazy. Like, that it just gives more options, because, like, you remember, like, when all you could do was um just like? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, man, man. My, my grandmother, my grandmother's sick. She in the hospital, and somebody put like, and they really care. But it's like they just sending a thumbs up, you know. It's like, what the fuck are you saying? It's like, do you <laughs> are you happy? It's like, no, I can't. I shouldn't like this. Shit. You have to guess what that like meant. And shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you saying it's good if I shit my grandma in the hospital? You get a like from somebody, you're like, man, him wasn't so cool back in high school. I don't know if this is the sympathetic <laughs> like. <laughs> like you yeah, know. you got to decipher a like and shit. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You know, you, know, you, know, you, know when you, you know what kind of people fuck me up? You know, when you're, when you're typing something, like, really sweet about something that happened that was sad, you know, like another relative is sick, you're trying to keep them in your prayers. You know, you just found out somebody's terminally ill. You know, somebody passed away. These motherfuckers hit love because it was sweet and shit. Like, what you trying to say? I I hit love for the sake of. Well, I see. I think I, I think that can be that can be construed. You know, because I I feel like I feel like you could send love because you could just be like showing love. You know, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, we could definitely benefit from some more options there. Mm. Yeah. Yo. I think we should bring back poke. Poke? I miss I poke. I think you could still poke. Or, yeah, I think you can. Can I you just poke? Do it. I think people just don't do it anymore. You're just in a mess. Can you poke me, please? I need to know what's going on here. Oh, Anyone oh, else oh. on Facebook watching this? I need you to poke, Ben. <laughs> if I can figure out how to poke, I'll try to poke you, Mo. <laughs> And you oh, that poke was crazy because you never know what it meant. You, oh. you never really knew what it meant. Are you saying, hey, I'm here? I'm you, saying, never, you know, you never knew when that poke was coming either. <laughs> Some, just somebody always did it randomly, just went and decided to poke you and shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Random Did you poke. On it? I feel like... Somebody, that, someone random that I like haven't seen for years just kept going back and forth poking me and poking me and never said anything to me, never like commented or liked anything <laughs> for like years. And I'm like, whoa, what are you doing? What does that mean? Stop poking me. Yo. I felt obligated to poke back. I didn't want him to feel bad. <laughs> Is somebody yeah. just walking in the middle of that movie? Like this motherfucker. This motherfucker didn't even like try to talk to me. Didn't even know if he had my consent to poke me. Mm, just poking, bro. I was gonna say fa Facebook never used consent with poking. I know. Just I was just <laughs> bent over time. I shit, and then I got poked. It was like <laughs> no distancing over there. <laughs> People just kept unconsensually poking each other. I got my first Facebook demerit finally. Your first Facebook demerit? You can get demerits? I got, a, I got a Facebook demerit. I did. They're like, I'm on warning now. Uh, hi, Sarah. But I'm on warning now because uh, somebody had posted a picture of some geese in a puddle. And they're like, oh, give this a caption. So people were going through, you know, honk if you're horny, whatever else. And all I yeah. wrote was damn Canadians. Do you know I got a Facebook demerit for that and a warning that that was racist? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you guys got me cracking up. Yeah. Yeah. Going on. Wait, this like, was recently? Hyper sensitive, I think. This was recently? This was like two weeks ago. Same here. I got suspended already three times. I think we did last month. No, uh, it was actually a Trump, Trump. That's when Trump was talking. And it, it wasn't even my joke. I just repeated the guy with, with laughing emoji. The guy says, white guy at that says, white devil. So I wrote it again. White devil emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. I got suspended mm -hmm. for three days for that. I, I wonder if the other oh. guy got suspended. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yo. You guys got I got a warning for somebody um, posted about cliffhanger the first 15 minutes being so suspenseful and i posted a gif of ace ventura with the raccoon 
Like, remember, do you remember Ace Ventura what? 2? Yeah. <laughs> Raccoon, and it's like a, a parody of Cliffhanger. And I posted that, and then I got a Facebook warning about that, that it was false information. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Honestly, Mo just started doing stand-up a couple months ago. I think we could finally officially say she's a comedian now. Yay! Woohoo! People on Facebook. That's like her badge of honor. Uh, I'm excited. Like, you know, once you do it one time and you want to come back, you you official. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this much. Like, I'm getting baptized in like three weeks, right? So I'm saying to my pastor, I'm like, on my testimony that I have to give, I, I want to inject humor in it. I figure God made me funny. I kind of deserve, you know, I, I want to present the full package that God gave. So now I'm trying to write my testimony. You know, I, I get two to four minutes. She made sure to premise that I don't get like my 10 minute set time. And, um, <laughs> yeah. So now I'm trying to come up with this funny testimony to like still be honorable and noble to the situation because like it's a really cool big deal like yeah Jesus you know but yeah. I also want to be you know me and I'm just trying to come up with it but uh, I'll test this out on you guys then because I went to Catholic school for so long and still the most that I ever learned from the Bible came from Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals so you know we had uh, Levi, we had Reuben, we had Mr. Mistopheles, we had Moses it's all the Old Testament right there right? Yeah. Alright that fell flat good <laughs> I'm going to pray on that one I got stuck on Mr. <laughs> Mistopheles <laughs> too too many steps I took. Got it. <laughs> I think you I think you just need something to like accentuate the punchline for that. <clears throat> and we all say, oh well, never was there ever a Christ so better as magical Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> that, that, was that play about Jesus? Not cats. <laughs> I didn't understand what it was supposed to be about. I didn't even know who also did Jesus Christ different. Superstar. Huh? I can't tell you know, Andrew Lloyd Webber also did Jesus Christ Superstar. Well, that I think okay. is probably about Jesus. But maybe. Maybe. But or, Jesus I don't Christ know if you know what Cats is about. Like, I saw, I saw that movie with Taylor Swift in it and... I don't understand what they were trying to do. They went up in the clouds. Yeah, her New York came out like, uh, she was like, I saw that movie with Taylor Swift. Are you from New York or um, Jersey too, Cindy? I'm from New York. Oh, yeah. See, I, I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> they hard to come out. Because <laughs> Marcel, where are you from? I'm from D.C. Right, not Marvel. We established this. Where do you, where do I sound like I'm from though? Um, yeah, you sound like you're from from New York too. Okay, but what part of New York? Listen, if he would have said the nanny, I would have fucking died laughing. <laughs> um, she's from either... Brooklyn. She's from Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> right. yeah, I was no. gonna say um, she's from Harlem. That's what they say on TV would probably be Long Island. Um. Oh yeah. I identify as Long Island. A woman yeah. from our fifties in Long Island. Mother Shocker. Sorry. You ever met, you, you, you ever met All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yo. Now, I fucked up Marcy you know, I fucked up in the beginning of the show, bro. I f I don't even remember what we were talking about, but you know, shit wasn't firing right in my brain because I woke up five minutes before the show. Oh, uh, yeah, professional. I, I accidentally <laughs> called myself 50 years old. Oh, man. Ooh. I've been, I've been saying that the whole show. And you will continue to do so until I have deemed you punished. <laughs> that's that's, that's <laughs> been so you 10 years. Stupid. I found it. I found how to poke you. Oh, I'm, we're going to poke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what consent, right, ladies? I poked you. I <laughs> had a time, and I got all excited. So you know. <laughs> of course you did, because she poked you. Because <laughs> oh, if I do that, I'm going to exit out of the Facebook Live. I don't know how technology works. Maybe I am fifty. <laughs> <laughs>
It's 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 always changing. <laughs> More like a bad segue. Have y'all seen that new movie that is coming out on Netflix next month called Cuties? Oh, I saw the ad for that. I haven't seen. Okay, well, if you haven't seen it, the basis of the movie yeah. is uh, basically eleven-year-olds that join into a team to twerk. Is that really what it's about? I the feel face like we just ball. made is the face we all should have. Okay. Uh, first of all, my question: is, What in How the Jeffrey you? Epstein did Netflix think about when they thought this was okay? Uh, yeah, it's like who who is this for? Uh, obviously, R. Kelly. And the producer, you know the producer is Harvey Weinstein. Because he would okay. touch this all day. And what, the hell, what the hell is that other lady's name? Glistine Maxwell or some shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did the casting. Well, she... <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but it's funny. <laughs> I'm going to reverse this a bit out of the super creepy pedophile territory. And let's just go back to addressing the fact that it's just about twerking. Is this like one of those dance group things? You know, like, uh, like a dance mom or like a what, show? What the description says is um, 11-year-old sees is infatuated exactly the same word it's infatuated with a twerk dancing crew going against her family's religion and traditions she seeks to be part of them is she amish uh i didn't like i didn't see the i didn't see a a a, a clip of it i wouldn't want to see a clip of it just the netflix no. literally said <clears throat> they put an apology out but not saying that, oh, sorry, we're not going to show it anymore. No, they right. say, I'm sorry about the poster. Yeah, that's I'm exactly listening. what yeah, the poster is pretty harsh. Harsh. I'm the listening to a story about a Netflix pretty... show about a poor 11 year old. Oh, yeah. They're the, like, over sexualized, these little 12 year olds. Thanks. Yeah, man. But the poster, the poster would, was pretty bad. I thought. I would, yeah. Did you see I it? Mm hmm. Yeah, mm, there, was a, uh, there was a there was a well. I'm actually I, I already just finished editing a video. I do videos. I'm hold on. Let me say that I start doing videos where I rant, you know, and uh, that's actually going to be one of my first videos. I'll post if you want to see the video. I mean, the old video. Follow me on that. Uh, what you call on Facebook at Chino Got Jokes. <laughs> Got put the plug in real quick, eh, right, John? <laughs> about, about the twerking eleven-year-olds. You want to make yeah. a fuck? You want to make yeah, a fuck yeah. about that? You yeah. want to hear more about this rant? Yo, I love how he was like, "Wait, this is a bad segue," but and then he and then he got a plug out of him, for himself out of it. Yeah. Hey, man. What is twerking without a plug? That's... <laughs> oh shit! It, it Wait, the... <laughs> yo, that took me a minute. <laughs> I was, yeah, like, I, I was I was sort of thinking that too because I was like, yeah, plug where? <laughs> he said he said a plug where. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. That was so, great, bro. Listen, I would rather you know want to see a show about them trying to bring back Facebook poking. That's all I gotta say. But I right. poked you. I poked you, and I poked Maureen. I couldn't poke uh, Marcel. Is that your name, Marcel, or is it Neil? Uh, my first name Chico is Marcel. Because we're not friends on Facebook. Uh, all right, oh, yeah. he's got his last name first. I called him by his last name. Wait, so your first oh, name yeah, is I'm Marcel? Professional, <laughs> Doctor Neil. <laughs> <laughs> But not, not, Jay, not Jay. That's a fallacy. I learned that at the very beginning of this broadcast. <laughs> Wait, did you learn? Mercy against her. I was going to ask to say, I was going to ask where he went to gangsta medical school. Uh, I know. Uh, Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I don't know the words, the words, but I definitely know those words. <laughs> I was gonna say, and then he, then he might flip a table this next to him and just walk off. I, I gotta totally white girl this for one second. What the hell happened to gangsters? Like, really? What is this like Takashi Six Nine guy doing? But where is he behind like Ice Cube? I don't get it. Well, because the, the two thousands yeah. is Fifty Cent made getting shot cool, so you know now the twenty twenties Takashi is snitching. So now that's cool. 
Uh, maybe the twenty mm-hmm. forties will make uh wear your pants right and uh not maybe shooting people that are unarmed. Cool. Yeah. Okay, right. President, I'm gonna write you in, man. <laughs> I'm putting Chino on the ballot. <laughs> yes, I can. Yo, Mo just want a vice. Mo just wants a vice president ticket. <laughs> be pretty cool as the vice president i'd be like i don't make any of the actual decisions but i stand there for the pictures and i go and like i teach some kids how to read i could do that every every time you have a press conference you know you're just gonna have your hair poofy for it yeah <laughs> just gotta At the, um... my girlfriend sarah just asked what happened when 50 got hungry 58 58 <laughs> <laughs> oh um... Wait, I feel like we got to do one of these Poop for that one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I'm Did you see my chicken video? All full of dad jokes. Chicken <laughs> video? Mm-hmm. I, I was playing with a bunch of hot chicks the other day, and I totally just told her I just had the camera focused on them, and I was just telling jokes about them, you know. It was, they were cute. Find it on my page. They were so cute. Wait, you were playing with a bunch of what? I could have sworn you said hot like chicks. Hot chicks? Playing with a bunch of hot chicks. <laughs> They're the animals, right? Okay. Huh. I gotta say, that sounds just really funny. I'm sorry. We went to um, my oh, girlfriend's my. house in Oxford, and, you know, it's upstate New York, and she has... Uh, among a lot of property with like a waterfall and all this other stuff, she has a, a, a chicken and, and it is these cute little baby chickens. Okay. Okay, hi chicks. So not like Playboy Playmate. Like no, so. no, 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 no. Playboy bunnies. Like her two and Colonel Sanders. Uh, <laughs> those kind of hot chicks. You know what? <laughs> Colonel Sanders has money, it's still acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was gonna say, sometimes I wonder like about like animal activists and stuff like do they think like the animals gonna return the favor like even thank them you know like a chicken just gonna walk up to Pamela Anderson like thank you for telling our story Pam you know <laughs> I don't think that ever happens. eating some vegetarians too right <laughs> thank you for not eating me there's <laughs> nothing like, happening hey. Like they won't even return the favor. Like I wonder, like if you get caught in the woods, like is a to know that you a vegetarian? Be like, nah, don't eat him. You know, he don't eat him. Let him go. <laughs> Some of these vegans act like they're bro- their blood brothers or somebody's cow, though. They really do. They be banging out here, cuz. <laughs> yeah. Like you just like you just went up into a cow, just cut your hand, and you were like, it's official. <laughs> We're forever bonded. Like Avatar, they connect their veganism with the beef. <laughs> exactly. It's like we no longer have beef, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was utterly oh, ridiculous. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> not doing this whole gang system, but like the real gangs that they talk and sniff on stuff. Yo, I think. <laughs> Every gangster that's on hip hop was trying to snitch at least. 50 Cent started it because he was naming names, he was saying areas, he was just saying, but I wasn't there. <laughs> Wait, did you say 50 Cent started snitching? <laughs> I mean, you ever heard of Ghetto Quran? That's borderline snitching right there. He named yeah. names, he named people that was affiliated. So yeah, that was crazy. I learned like the whole history of. New York and Queens and shit. Listen, yeah, right. to- the one of the big guys out there. I mean, eventually it all was on like American Gangster and stuff like that. So I mean, it's all on YouTube. So. And even even yeah. even uh, what you call this guy? Um, uh, what you call the dude out there, Denzel Plater? He ended up snitching. Yeah, he snitched on cops, but still snitching. Yeah. Yeah. I just think I just think it's crazy that the guy came around with the rainbow grill and decided to go make snitch popular. I mean, but put, I mean, I'm not justifying snitch. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I like Takashi Six Nine when he first came out there. 
Yeah, he's entertaining. He still is. Yeah. Like that first one, he had the little shot, 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 shot. Yeah. <laughs> like, those like, were like, he was tight. I was like, I couldn't believe he was walking through New York. I wanted to come up there just to see if I was going to see this rainbow head dude just walking around in the street and stuff. <laughs> like, yo, you cool. guys remember Riff Raff? Oh, yeah. He was a great here. Bro, Let's see, like, Riff Raff, man, I ain't gonna lie, I was a fan of his. <laughs> I yeah, he, he, had, he had some bars. Yeah, he he was he when he was messing with Soldier Boy and stuff. I was like, oh man, like they they must be about to do something. Yo, <laughs> he, really, he well, really liked that though, man. Like that dude, yeah. really, man. You want to know what I just realized after he just said that? I just realized Marcel sounds a lot like Soldier Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Soldier Boy got the same birthday. I think we the same age too. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that mean I'm hoping that mean at least I'd be famous and make a bunch of money I don't deserve. But uh, he gonna be like Drake. You know, he got like he like like four five hundred million. Like that dude, like he he really rich for real. Yo, because he there, started that there. ringtone rap stuff. Yo, there was a video he did back in the day when he was, like, really fucking high. And he just took, like, a bunch of food. And he was just like, we got the munchies. <laughs> just over and over and over again, showing off all the different food he got. I even think he put his cell phone in, like, towards the end of the video. Oh, man. Just trying to put him. He got recorded on Coke a few times. Bro. That shit was. He so did it funny. right though. I say I don't. I never did call. I promise. You, I never. I mean, I sold it, but th- that's another story. But <laughs> if you oh, ever, man. I would do it. How Soldier Boy? He had a bunch of naked women around him and a lot of money. So if that's a way to do coke, exactly. I, I mean, like, it's like, you never know. Like I feel like it's it's certain times when I do it. Like I'm sure, like if I have a sign a TV deal or something, and we had Netflix, and they like myself, we doing this special. Congratulations. You know, if the exec pulls some shit out, you can't act not cool. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you want, like, Netflix or NBC office. They ain't going to give a fuck. They just going to break that shit out here. You want the job, not them. They going to break that shit out. So, yeah, uh, what you want your show to be about? Now? Let's see. Like, like you want to do something? Uh, I don't usually, but I trust you can come with a good stuff. One time for the one time. It's my Netflix. Right. Thank you. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's like you know you you gotta pick you gotta pick your times when you do it. You know, if you have Beyonce, if Beyonce just slides onto you, she be like, I don't if, if Beyonce slide it to me, I might I might have to take just at least one line. Yeah, yeah. No question. Wrong with me, I can sue her afterwards. No. <laughs> <laughs> you you gonna snitch on Beyonce? A hard body, write a book. I'm gonna tell all. I'm gonna say whooshy bit too. <laughs> he's gonna poke and snitch. That's what he's gonna do. <laughs> Facebook poke and snitch. Uh, give me an Oprah. Give me an Oprah interview. I'll be there. Hard body. No, let you're me. Gonna, you're gonna do an Oprah interview? How you Facebook poke and snitch me on Beyonce? I'm gonna exaggerate everything. Make sure that shit come heavy. <laughs> C- C- Mo, C- <laughs> why I can't have a line of coke ready during a show like this where we can't even all be in the studio. I gotta wait. Because Mo thought I was doing coke in the beginning of the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in all fairness, I mean, I've, I've been around coke. I have never done it, I swear. But it wasn't until I got to rehab that I learned that if you did coke, apparently you could drink a lot more. So that's one of those life lessons that I found out after the fact, and I'm kind of pleased with that. She's gonna get addicted just because she's. That's what I heard. That's what um Lindsay Lohan said. She was like, "You could drink more." I was like, eh. "And I'm not. I am a lightweight. Maybe I could do some so I can get some more in me." Like, I'm joking. Well, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta ask something. Can you drink more like after you do it, or is it during? I, according to uh, the, the, the the people that I've been, you know, that, that we we recover together with, um, apparently, if you get dr- you get really really drunk, like to the point that I can't do this anymore, you do a line of coke and then you're good to keep going drinking. Oh shit! 
Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you can slow your heart rate, you can slow your heart rate back down with the drinking. I don't know. I learned a lot of tips in rehab that I never knew in real life. And there's something that's really sad. like hard story. Like some woman was telling a story about how she um she had a map of her house and what she would do is she would mark off what room she hid her stash in or like where she put her empties and be able to clean it up the next day. And I'm going, that's a really good idea. Damn. <laughs> You want to know what's that? You want to know what's like that? Fun about that? You're, getting, you're getting fucking tips on how to handle your drugs in rehab. Right. Like that's fucking hilarious to me. I yeah. and I was I was like the only alcoholic that was in the actual like rehab nope. itself, and there was please I, I like I'll go to do service and like I'll speak at other places and stuff like that. There was people like passing rocks right in front of me. I'm just like I. Right. I'm just, I'm just here to be like, yay, there's a better way to do things, but you do you. <laughs> let, let, let me just get through these, like, next, like, 20 days. Like, that's all I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, 2020 is actually they, probably, like, the worst year to get sober, to be honest, because yeah. there's so much shit. To, I don't know if y'all heard about the Annabelle dog supposedly escaped from that museum. If there's any year that would happen... It would be this year. What, I believe. what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck hasn't happened in 2020? That shit might as well. What is escape? Is no, the Annabelle daughter, the, the uh, cursed oh. father. It, it, oh, it, 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 was, it was a false story, but uh, I believed it because it's 2020 at first, you know? I was like, it didn't feel like it was far fetched at all. The Annabelle doll is what brought COVID. <laughs> <laughs> the Annabelle doll did it. COVID and that bitch. Like, cool hurricanes hitting like down in the Gulf now too, or about to hit down there. Fuck the Annabelle doll. Yeah, I think it's about yeah. two of them. Annabelle can control the weather now. I think September is Annabelle, and then October is Gremlins. <laughs> uh, or what yeah. November is. Yo. Yeah. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I recently did a show like in New York, and when I was coming back, because I was dropping a friend off, you know, in the Bronx. And she has this small ass dog that thinks it's tough, right? And for whatever reason, this dog does not like me. And whenever it fucking growls at me, it sounds like a fucking gremlin. And now I'm scared that dog just tried to curse me for the whole month of October. Uh, yeah. Don't feed it after midnight. <laughs> it's not my dog. I can't control that. My mom used to collect porcelain dolls back in the day. And when I say collect, I mean, they'd be all over the damn house. Now, oh, when you oh. can you picture walking down out of your room to go use the bathroom in the middle of the night, and you got dolls, and you feel like they're following you? Yeah. Fuck, I'm going to buy a PTSD, man. Bro. bro. <laughs> the, wor the worst is whenever you probably knocked one down, she probably sprayed holy water on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I broke one once and I just threw it away, but my mom noticed and with my ass. So <laughs> I learned my lesson, and she noticed it. Like not even like the moment she she noticed it so fast. I'm like, she's good at this. She's good at this. <laughs> he broke he broke my doll and breaking a foot off in his ass. <laughs> Maybe she, maybe they give her like a roll call, like when the teacher calls attendance at the beginning of school, all the dolls are telling her who's here. <laughs> I mean, she, she got those thoughts on these day, but they're all in the attic now. Thank God. Bueller. 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 <laughs> Bueller, where the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, man. You know what I wondered about um, the gremlins? When is it safe to feed a gremlin? You know you can't feed it after midnight, but how long after midnight do you have to wait? Daylight. Oh. Daylight, is that right? Um, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I watched them all, so i never I, seen them not eating during the day. Yeah, they're always eating, like, right after midnight, I feel like. About six in the morning, then, apparently, it's safe. Yeah, as soon as dawn <laughs> All right, that's when I'm going to feed my gremlin. <laughs> Wait, you have a gremlin? Who <laughs> 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 that, like, 1996 was predicting 2020? <laughs> Can you imagine? Man, I was actually hoping things would be good by Christmas. I mean, I'm optimistic. I actually was like, I'm hoping the Christmas spirit could bring everybody back. The holiday spirit come back around. 
and then hopefully that positive energy can make something happen. But I don't know. I just feel like it's where I really feel like honestly, like COVID was bound to be bad in in America anyway. Cause this is the fucking thing though, man. Like honestly, and I guess I gotta preface this by saying I didn't vote for Donald Trump. But like the dude was in a no-win situation. Cause if he was to say, like people been comparing the dude to Hitler since day one. If he was to say everybody stay in your house for a month. Everybody was going to say, what the fuck? He think he's some kind of dictator? What is this fucking China that's telling us we got to stay in the house? And I was like, like, if he would have did it like that, like, nobody would have listened. Everybody would have bugged it. Then I, he- I feel like his supporters would pretty much do whatever he says to do. I think it would have worked. I mean, I, don't, I mean, but see, I really feel like the left, yeah, us on the left, we've been doing a lot of stuff just to spite anything that he say so I mean, like, it's like this because it's like it's people on the left that's going outside too i mean like everybody mm-hmm. everybody in their life like that's the whole thing and then that's the thing america period so i think i think it was a mix between like it, it was sort of like doomed like he he couldn't really tell nobody to stay in the house and then like in america like why nobody gonna stay in the house today? like the spring was just starting people couldn't wait to get outside it was cold as yeah. shit like like, dude, like when I say, because like even I would go out like in my car and like DC is like, like got these parks and shit. And I'm talking about when I would ride like through the park, you would just see people just riding bikes, people on boats out this motherfucker, like people, <laughs> like everybody, like, and I mean, you go through your timeline, people out having picnics and shit, like, so it's people doing, people doing the regular, people living their regular life. So it's going to take either like a, a federal mandate and people to say, look, you gotta, you're gonna get a ticket if we catch you outside. And everybody just gotta do it for like a month. That's the whole thing. Because if it takes two weeks to run this course, if you got it, if everybody's staying up for a month to be on the safe side, it'd be good. But now it's really too late because the unemployment that ran out and all of this shit. So it's like, but I feel like it was, it was, if we be honest with ourselves, it was going to be from the beginning because he, he didn't tell nobody to stay in the house and people do it. And wasn't nobody going to stay in the house? Well, you don't necessarily have to stay in the house. You can go outside. You just don't, you stay six feet from people. If you're going to be somewhere where you're near someone, you wear a mask. You don't have to stay inside. You're allowed to go ride bikes. You can go to the park. You can have picnics with the people that you're living with. Listen to the third part, Steel. Huh? I mean, I agree. I mean, I say that, but then it's like, what happens when it's like a hundred families at the park having a picnic? You know, it's like, it's no like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I mean, like, and then you know how parks are in New York. Like, it's people, I'm sure you ride past and see people like it's like a normal summer day. Like, it's like the, the crowds is what it really is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, I took my kids to the park today and I saw like 12 teenagers playing basketball together and I was, it's, uh, no, no mask, mask sweating on each other, like, exactly. it's, it's, it's crazy. It's probably so, a court game, too. Sure. <laughs> probably yeah. a court game. Probably not even full court. They probably just, you know, all got on half the court, fucking all crowded together and shit. Yeah, word. You know what? I think if we bribe everybody, like, look, man, we pay your rent, we pay your mortgage, we pay your groceries, you stay the fuck in for a whole month. Come on, you gotta be a dick and not to go out. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay yeah. in, man. Like that's the thing. So like recently, like I've been, I've been literally like staying in for like I say the last like two months. That's like, how long you inside. I mean, like with the occasional. Like Friday, yeah, I look like a, like a fresh fade, like bro. That. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I mean, like, that's the thing. The last time I got one, like the last time I got a haircut, I mean, I think that's the last time I went outside. I got like <laughs> stuff like I can't really do right now, but like I'm really trying to stay in because now I really just don't want to get anything because sometimes yeah. I feel like it's going, it's, it's getting worse. He said he said he celebrated barbershops opening again. That's why he went outside. <laughs> it was a occasion. 
Yeah, because like when they first opened, I did go out and get a fade, but like as you, yeah. it didn't grew back out. You know, it didn't got all crazy. But I got a cut at first. I've been working the whole time, so I've been going outside anyway because I had to. Because what was I? What was I gonna do? Just not go and get fired? Yeah, no. I mean, like, and that, that's the thing. It's like if you gotta work and you gotta you gotta work. So you know, it's always like essential stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's not gonna it's it's not gonna really be ideal. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's yeah. Because it, it is people that have to go to work, and then it's like public transportation. It's people that gotta drive the buses and get people around and stuff. Like, it's still people that gotta work. Cause if you go order DoorDash, it's people that gotta be at Chick Fil A yeah. or wherever the fuck you ordering from to make that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel bad for anybody who has to order from a Chick Fil A in New Jersey. You'll be waiting. <laughs> for that food. You got like three lines for that shit. You, Chino knows what I'm talking about. Yo, you see, you've seen the Hamilton Marketplace Chick Fil A. I know oh, you. That was the worst, probably. Yo, that was long. Fuck. I never go there because of I, that deadline. I am not. You live in the city. It's an it's a day long thing. Keep the going on us, guys. Thank you for coming. We'll be back next week. I appreciate you guys being here. I really enjoyed having you all on. So hopefully I bring you guys on again. Thank you guys. 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 I'm trying to be amazing Next big thing kind of has a nice ring Bada boom, bada bing You love it when I go off When you're so lost and it's so awesome I get it cause I am from where the stars from Hamash and the boogie down's the mother man Cool arcs the overlord and we are just a cover band I love the land I'm in but everyone's opinionated Insinuating the word and sin Only then you hate it I'm always getting so high so you can gaze up I'm going 